As has been reported, there were fatalities. There were 18 children that were pronounced dead at the school. There were two that were transported to area hospitals and pronounced dead at area hospitals. And there were six adults pronounced dead at the scene at the school. As the governor has reported, the shooter is deceased. Is deceased in the school. Uh, there's a great deal of work going on relative to that. That's the reason we have not identified him as of yet. And by that, I mean search warrants, examination of areas of, of uh, uh, residence, employment, and any ancillary things that may be attached to the identity and to that individual. I offered Governor Malloy my condolences on behalf of the nation and made it clear he will have every single resource that he needs to investigate this heinous crime, care for the victims, counsel their families. Uh, we've endured too many of these tragedies in the past few years. And each time I learn the news, I react not as a president, but as anybody else would as a parent. And that was especially true today. I know there's not a parent in America who doesn't feel the same overwhelming grief that I do. The majority of those who died today were children, uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. They had their entire lives ahead of them, birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own. Among the fallen were also teachers, men and women who devoted their lives to helping our children fulfill their dreams. So our hearts are broken today.